Your favorite streamer, VTuber, cat, boy, girl, I don't fuck, just made a weird sound. <laughs> and you think it'll be funny to show the world. Perhaps you'll even get recognized for documentation of the moment. But you don't know how to do so. No problem. Just go online and download OBS and DaVinci Resolve. In OBS, you want to add a scene, add a display capture, then go into your OBS settings and allocate a destination for your recording files. Also, in your recording settings, choose between the NVIDIA encoder. In case you don't really know what hardware you have, just use X264. Make sure your video is set to 1080p with a 60 FPS and turn off your microphone, just to be sure. On the YouTube stream you've been watching and or the Twitch VOD, go to the timestamp you want to record. Set the quality to as high as your machine will manage and the player allows, and just let OBS record your screen while you play the footage. Afterwards, you click on stop. Now open DaVinci and make a new project. Within it, make a new timeline. You could set it to 4K if your machine can handle it, but for weaker machines, I just recommend you set it to 1080p. Don't forget to set the FPS to 60. Drag the footage in and use either Control B or the Cut tool to get rid of the extra bits. Use the backspace to delete the in-betweens and get rid of all the waste. Cut it so that only the funny bits and maybe a bit of situational context remains. For subtitles, add a text plus object. If you want a little pop effect, try to, at the start of your text object, keyframe the zoom property. Then two frames further, set it back so that it pops between those two settings. It'll create that little effect. The nice thing now is that for more subtitles, you can just hold in the Alt key, click on the footage and just drag it to make a copy, wherein you can adjust the text. Now you've essentially done a regular video. There's more little settings you can adjust here and there and figure out yourself. However, for most normal videos, now you could add some sound effects if you really want to. However, let's say you want to turn this clip into more of a TikTok slash shorts format, right? Well, click on the timeline and in the resolution settings, you have this little option to choose vertical mode. Now in your timeline, add an adjustment layer above your footage and set the positioning and zooming of your footage to highlight the main part your audience would be looking at. Then unclick this little lock icon and select all the footage again. Alt drag to copy the footage above the adjustment layer but below your subtitles. This is where we're going to add that face cam part. Go to the color page. Within the color page, you can select clips and make extra adjustments like bringing up the brightness of the footage ju just by a bit, right? Or for the clips where you want only basically the face cam, you're going to add two nodes with Alt S. Right click and add the alpha out. Now just connect the dots. On the first node, add a transform effect. Use it to zoom in on the face and set the position below the footage and the subtitles. On the second node, just add a circle mask to show only the face part for reactions. If you click on the clip section above, you can just copy paste the node setup from one clip to the next, therefore making it so you don't have to repeat these steps over and over and over again. For exporting the video, use either MP4, this is the format that tends to work on all platforms, uh, set up the encoder settings to prefer quality over size, you know, and export it. Now just add a silly clickbaity thumbnail and title and you're officially a clipper. There you go. <laughs> Well, that's great. If the video was a bit too quick, don't forget to maybe go back, set the resolution higher, look at the screen recording that is happening, and maybe that can help you out. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like the video if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell to stay up to date for streams, videos, and let me know in the comments if you found this helpful and or if there would be other things you would want to know. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.